While we continue to learn more about Mars from the Curiosity rover, robotic exploration of this planet has been ongoing since the 1970s. In this video we will discuss the Viking mission, the first successful landing of a spacecraft on Mars. Launched in August and September of 1975, Viking 1 and Viking 2 reached Mars orbit in June and August of 1976 respectively. The Viking spacecraft consisted of two major components, the orbiter and the lander. The primary objectives of the Viking mission were to acquire high-resolution images of Mars, to examine and analyze the Martian atmosphere and surface, and to search for evidence of life. The Viking explorations allowed us to see for the first time what the Martian landscape looked like. The orbiter images depicted low plains to the north and cratered highlands to the south. Scattered about were high standing volcanic areas and huge canyons near the equator. The explorations also witnessed dust storms, pressure changes, and the movement of atmospheric gases between the polar caps. Although the primary mission for the orbiters was to transport their respective landers to Mars, the Viking 1 orbiter was used for a close flyby of the Martian moon Phobos. Phobos is the largest and has the lowest orbit of the two Martian natural satellites. The Viking 1 orbiter was only the second spacecraft to fly by Phobos after Mariner 9 in 1971. On July 20, 1976, Viking 1 lander separated from its orbiter and descended on the Martian surface. The lander carried scientific instruments to study the biology, chemical composition, and other properties of the Martian soil and atmosphere. The Viking 2 lander separated from its orbiter and landed successfully on the Martian surface on September 3, 1976. The landers analyzed the iron-rich clay surface material at their landing sites and observed temperatures ranging from 150 to 250 Kelvin. These temperatures could fluctuate between 35 to 50 Kelvin on any given day. The total cost of the Viking mission was roughly $1 billion. The mission was considered a success and provided the bulk of knowledge of the Red Planet up until the late 1990s. Although data from the mission showed evidence of surface water, experiments done by the Viking spacecraft did not find the evidence of life. The Viking mission paved the way for more robotic exploration to Mars, including today's Curiosity rover. For more information on this subject, as well as other aerospace-related topics, please visit us at www.sigmarockets.com.